We're going to do a quick comparison test on three battery driven amps. We're looking at the Black Star Fly, the old Roland Cube, and the new Orange as well. And we're all going to use the same guitar, so it's a fair, even playing field. Now, all these amplifiers are ideal for teaching or just for jamming, nice practice amplifiers, for the following reason. Each of these beauties use batteries. So if you happen to be a South African, you'd appreciate the value of ESCOM or the lack of value of ESCOM. And that's what makes these amplifiers so cool. Personally, whenever I'm looking for amp for myself, I look at what does it offer me. For example, this has got a nice little distortion feature. It's got an EQ, it's got an echo delay, which is quite nice. Unfortunately, the cubes have been discontinued or this particular model of the cube has been discontinued, but it's quite nice. Some nice modulation effects, your flanges, your phases, tremolo, chorus, reverb, and delay. So it's a very really nice little system over here. Also basic EQ and lots of different, not just two channels basically, effectively basically six channels because each one offers a different tonality. And the little orange over here, a very basic but a very, very nice tuner built into it the whole way through. And at the back, this one actually offers a nice little external 8 amp speaker jack which you can see in the right hand corner as well. So let's get you plugging them in and we're going to start from left to right. We'll start with the fly. Like I said, everything's going to be played with the same guitar, the Fender Strap. We're going to use the same pickups the whole way through and we can hear and experience how the tonalities change starting with the Black Star. We're using clean tone for starters. I've got the gain level quite low and the overdrive switched off. And basic chords. <laughs> Nice and clean, nice and smooth. You can hear all string definition. Lead guitar. Nice tone to it, I think. Now that's without the delay on. I'm going to reach across now and put a bit of echo. And you can hear just quickly before echo. That's before I put the echo on. And then put the echo on now. And you can obviously control the speed of the echo as well. And echo is also referred to as delay. I think delay is the digital version of echo, basically. But in principle, it's the same thing. Obviously, the purists can sit and argue for hours, and they're not wrong. But in essence, a delay and an echo are essentially the same style or type of effect. This is the same thing now. Just gives a bit more depth. Personally, I like echo. Here's a quick phrase again. That's with the echo on and with the echo off. You can hear it just loses that three dimensional sound to it. So I found some students love the echo and some hate the echo. So whatever you prefer, if you like reverb or sorry, if you like delay or echo, it's your own choice. You can really choose there. Now I'm going to go across to the overdrive, so I'm going to hit the button, turn the gain a bit higher, and we're going to switch to the back pickup of the guitar now, and we get nice sound kit. What I like about the black stars is they tend to sort of capture quite a nice sort of um, martial almost sound to it in a sense. It gives you a nice sense of history, a nice tonality, a nice crisp accurate clarity with your notes and if you turn the gain down a bit so it loses a bit of that, that edge you can get a nice crunch so you can actually control the intensity of the overdrive quite nicely it's a very very nice little amplifier uh, clear sound for example with the gain turned quite down and just have a quick view of that quickly just to show the controls over there there you can see the delay that I was using, that makes the echo go a bit longer, quicker echo. This little control over here, you can't see it really well against the black against black, but that little control there is the how loud you want your echo to be. And then onto the gain control, there's a little overdrive button between your volume and gain. When I did the hard rock sound, it was high. And then as I went to more bluesy tone, the Rolling Stones drift was around about here. So you can control the intensity 
move to the front pickup for the last part and give a nice bluesy turn there. Okay, we're now going to go to the next amplifier. I think the most significant effect for, uh, or feature rather of the Roland is the physical size of it. It's a little bit bigger, but the extra speaker does give a lot more warmth to it. I'm going to take the volume down a bit now. Nice clear sound as well. And again, with this one over here, it's got quite a lot of extra effects. So the same delay that I top used on the Black Star, the Roland does offer it. Again, personal preference. It gives a nice depth, but other than the delay or the echo, depending how you want to view it, there's also an effect called reverb. This is no reverb. Very dry, very much sort of playing in a well carpeted room. But imagine you go to an empty church or an empty school hall and you'd have this effect. That's reverb turned on to the max. <laughs> okay, so I don't suggest you use this amount of reverb because the notes will actually get lost. But if you take it down, so um, something like this, that's actually quite cool. So the same phrase again. With a little bit of echo, so a bit of reverb, sorry, a little bit of reverb and no reverb. Totally dry. So I like a bit of reverb. I'm just going to show you the setting on the reverb just quickly. And then also on the clean sound over here for the Rodent Cubes, I'm using the JC Clean. But let's just have a quick look at what the controls look like. Here we can see the reverb I was talking about. I had it there when it sounded like the empty church or the school hall. There's the delay echo when I put the echo on. The end one that I demoed with just a little bit of depth I had run about over here. The different preamp settings over here, the JSC Clean, that's what I was actually using for the clean sound. You can see the gain is going to be sort of middle, but if you turn it higher, it will give you a slightly warmer tone, thins it out, and then you can always compensate for the volume by adjusting over here as well. So the gain and the volume tend to give the same effect on the clean channel within reason, but it does affect the tone as well. We're now going to play with some of the different effects over here. We're going to try and get a sort of a, a classic stack and rectifier tonality just to get a bit of a different variation onto the whole amp. First of all, the classic rock sound. Very, very nice sound. It actually almost sounds like a big amp. Very, very nice for sort of a, a typical sort of old school overdrive. Now, if you take it one step up to the rectifier, now your inner Ozzy Osbourne or inner Iron Maiden can come forward and you get something like this. It's a much more aggressive, nice and sharp. Where if you use the rock sound again, you can hear the difference in the intensity. One more time onto the rock side. So it's a nice variation of different sounds in this amplifier. So yes, it is a bit more expensive. You can't get them new anymore, or not in South Africa anyway. I believe the new Cube 1 is the replacement for this. Uh, this particular amplifier I'm demoing, I've had for about 30 odd years, and it's still sounding stunning. So if you can pick up a second in one of these, um, I think personally it's a very, very good investment. And um, obviously it's going to cost a little bit. And now we're on to number three, the third amp. Now keep in mind that the Black Star Fly that I demoed first and this Orange amplifier are pretty much the same price. I think the Orange is a little bit cheaper. And um, let's see what it sounds like. Now first of all, whatever happens in the next few minutes, don't let it put you off Orange because Orange make the most beautiful big valve amplifiers. And um, even the smaller practice amps and that are really, really cool. But this little one, let's listen to what it sounds like and you make up your own mind. First of all, you'll notice that the whole warmth that we had with the Black Star and the Roland is gone, which is actually a bit of a disappointment. So it tends to be missing a lot of body on this amplifier for me. And like I said, I've changed nothing. I'm just using the amplifier straight as it is. No effect pedals, not changing guitars, still using the same guitar. Um, and for starters, there's also no echoes, no delay, no reverb. So what you're hearing here is pretty much maximum effect. And a quick comparison again, just to compare this 
sound with the black star fly and you can hear for yourself what you think black star nice clean setting play with the volumes a little bit much more control much nicer sound and back to the orange and be back very hard sound it, it tends to lose the warmth and subtlety and string definition that we got from the fly different volumes don't really make much but you're playing with the gain very hard sounding amplifier so yeah that's pretty much it for starters let's see what the overdrive sounds like turn the gain now on to 10 very fuzzy very old school uh, actually too old school it sounds like sort of broken 50s I guess and again if you do a direct comparison immediately now to the black star we have this black star's back just sounds more like a real guitar amplifier so in short we have one small back to the orange before we sum up and we can hear again it just loses all dimension even if you play with the tone control so the tone control doesn't save it the overdrive very very fuzzy unless you really like the tone it's not a personal favorite um, in short if i had money I would definitely rather go for the Roland Cube. That would definitely be my first place. Mainly, again, because of the dynamic control that you got there, all your effects. Budget's a bit tight, but you want a really, really good quality amplifier. The Black Star Fly 2, I love these. Um, there are other nice amps on the market as well. There's the Nooks and other ones which I would like to try soon. The Orange, unfortunately, like I said, I love the Evolve products. They're beautiful. They're bigger amplifiers to die for. Um, but this little orange over here, the tiny practice amplifier, I think perhaps back to the drawing board. And um, let me know what you think of it. Keen to get some feedback. And otherwise, have an awesome day. Thank you.